Thank you, Kim. We're also working developing news. The suspect accused of trying to hit Cranston police officers with his car faced the judge today. And tonight we're learning more about the suspect and his alleged criminal activities. Hi, what is news reporter Jared Planner is live at Kent County Courthouse where the suspect appeared today. Jared. Well, Mike and Shannon, prosecutors in court today talking about the two week long investigation done by police. Prosecutors saying they set up a controlled drug buy and used a confidential informant. After appearing before a justice of the peace last night, 25 year old Haziel de Leon is arraigned in Kent County District Court a few days shy of Christmas. He is the man accused of using his car yesterday to assault Cranston police officers during a drug bust, one officer firing repeatedly through De Leon's windshield. Colonel Michael Winquist noting how easily someone could have been killed Wednesday. De Leon ordered held without bail tonight. He will next go to Superior Court as an accused probation violator after drug convictions from just weeks ago. Police say De Leon deals fentanyl and is believed to be connected to two recent non-fatal Cranston overdoses. De Leon is accused of delivering more of the deadly opioid on Bain Street Wednesday morning. Police set up in unmarked cruisers and they made their move. According to prosecutors, De Leon missed some officers with his Audi, backed into a cruiser with two more inside, then hit a bystander and another officer dragging the cop. And that is when an officer started firing on the car. De Leon was hit in the shoulder. No one involved here was seriously hurt. Seven charges in all here, just count after count of assault and battery on a police officer with a dangerous weapon. Six of those seven counts, by the way, are felonies. Coming up new at six o'clock, this is just the latest drug prosecution of Haziel de Leon. We'll see you next hour for now live at uh, Kent County Court, Jared Planner Eyewitness News. We have new details now on the man arrested following yesterday's police involved shooting in Cranston. Hazael De Leon faced a judge this morning after first being arraigned last night at Cranston Police Headquarters. Police say an officer opened fire after De Leon hit another officer and a bystander with his car. Police were trying to stop him as part of a drug investigation. Eyewitness News reporter Jared Planner joins us now live outside Kent County Court in Warwick with a look at other charges on the suspect's record. Jared. Mike, with a car said to have been weaponized and with rounds put into that car, police say it is remarkable no one was killed yesterday. Kent County Court quiet, but still going on the verge of Christmas. 25-year-old Haziel De Leon arraigned in Kent County District Court Thursday. He's accused of using his car yesterday as a weapon against Cranston police officers during a drug bust, hitting one and a bystander and a cruiser, an officer firing through De Leon's windshield, striking him. Police say De Leon deals fentanyl and is believed to be connected to two recent non-fatal Cranston overdoses. Tonight, he is held without bail as an accused probation violator. Just weeks ago, De Leon pleaded no contest to drug charges, got a five-year suspended sentence, a time-served credit, and no more hard time. His record has consistent entries since he was 20. No contest pleas, probation violations, many warrants, and order to undergo substance abuse evaluation. Now seven new charges. Charges, including a new fentanyl count and five for assault on officers. And Cranston Police Colonel Michael Winquist writing on this dangerous drugs such as fentanyl continue to claim the lives of Cranston residents and people struggling with addiction throughout the state. He praised the officers who continue to make arrests in this realm, writing uh, those uh, for arresting those, I should say, who turn, quote, a blind eye to the misery and in many cases, death they cause in pursuit of ill-gotten gains. For now live at Kent County Court, Jared Plenter, Eyewitness News.